Okay, we're going to be using our skirt add-on for the bummies that's on our website. And then we're going to be using the Juliet Leotard by Petite Stitchery. You need the sleeves, two leg bands, one neck band, and then you'll need your front and back pieces. And we're going to do something different to the front and back pieces here. So I've cut mine apart right here. And I've cut them just pretty much right in the middle, a little bit lower on the bottom half. And I'm going to show you how I cut Okay, so I've folded over my fabric here, and I've got my two pieces after I've cut. And I'm going to do this pretty fast. I'm adding a quarter inch seam allowance to the bottom of the top piece, and also to the top of the bottom piece here. So as you can see, I just added that in there. This is just extra seam allowance because I am going to be putting these back together, and I want it to be the right size. So you're going to do this for the front and the back. So again, I'm just going to fold my fabric over, put my pattern pieces down. And add in that extra half or quarter inch seam allowance. I'm sorry. For both pieces. All right. And then here is the skirt piece, just in case you don't know how to cut on a double fold. Um, I folded the fabric once over and then I folded the fabric again over. And then I'm now putting the corner edge here where the first curve is, the small curve, and then you cut the longer curve. And I like to snip my points here, all four points, and that's what the skirt looks like. And now these are the pieces that you'll need. Your skirt, your two leg bands, your one neck band, and then your back piece, which is now cut in half with that extra seam allowance, front piece, and then the two sleeves. Okay, so first I like to go ahead and get the bands taken care of. So I'm going to do the ham hop method that I always do with these cuffs here. I'll be doing that for the neck band and both leg bands. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put my top pieces, the front and the back, right sides together and sew the shoulder seams here. So that's what it looks like, right sides together. And I'm just going to do the shoulder seams here real fast. I am going to go ahead and quarter up my neck band here, finding the equal points, four points on my neck band, and then I just do two on my leg bands, so I'm just going to do two points on my leg bands right now. And then we're going to do side seams of that bodice. So we've got the shoulder seams done, and now we're going to do the side seams here, because I like to add my sleeves in the round. So let's go ahead and sew the side seams down. And now you're going to find the true middle and the true back, or the true front and the true back middle of both of those. So you're going to fold like this and find the front middle and the back middle. And then because this is two different swoops, there's a high, higher swoop in the front and lower swoop in the back, you will need to put those two points that you just snipped together and find the true side points here because they won't be the shoulder seams. If you try to use the shoulder seams, it'll be off. So see, that's the side point there. So it's a little bit further in the back because of that low swoop. So find those four points. I just make tiny snips with my snippers. All right, and then we're going to find the middle of the bottom part here. So this is the bottom of that top bodice, and I'm just finding the middle of the front and the back. That's going to come in handy when we're attaching the skirt and the bottom back to the bodice. All right, so here's the bottom back here and the bottom front here, side seams and crotch seam here. And now we're going to add those leg bands to the leg holes here. I like to start at the crotch part here and add that seam of my cuff to the crotch. Just in case I don't get it lined up, it's hidden. And then I match the other snipped point to the side seam here and I put it under my serger. And just serge around in the round here. If you need to use more than two points, you can just quarter these up too. 
Um, I just use two points. It works for me. But if you need a quarter, um, I absolutely do that. So I'm just going to sew in the round here. And then I'm going to repeat it with the other one. So again, I'm just taking that cuff seam and adding it to the crotch seam here and then matching up my snipped point with the side seam in the leg hole and then just putting that underneath my serger and get getting going. <laughs> And I haven't mentioned yet, but do tuck your tails. I've tried other every other method pretty much, and tucking my tails is the only way thing that works for me. All right, so now you're gonna find the middle front and back by folding this together and finding that front and back middle, making a snip just like you did on the top part. All right, and now I'm I'm going to add the neck band to the bodice here so the the lower swoop is the back so i'm going to add that seam to the back and then i'm just going to pin everything up together it's off camera here i'm sorry about that but i'm just going and ma matching up the points and then i'm sewing in the round here sewing around making sure that neck band is adequately stretched to lay flat on the opening here All right, tuck your tail here, and then now I'm just going to top stitch everything down really fast. I'm going to top stitch, top, blah, 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 top stitch the neck and the leg holes and hem my sleeves here. So I'm going to do that super fast on my cover stitch. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I wish it was this fast in real life. <laughs> and then here's my little handy dandy, handy dandy hem guides. Um, I use the only thing I use them for is um, flat hemming, like sleeves, which is what I like to do. So now we're gonna put our sleeves right sides together, and of course you can hem those any way you want to hem them. Um, so put them right sides together like this. Tuck your tails. You can also hem your sleeves in the round. I just choose to do them in the flat. That's just total preference. Um, but you do whatever you are comfortable with. Um, and I do snip my sleeves on the end point there to match up with the shoulder seams when we're adding the sleeves back into the bodice. So here we go. We're going to add the sleeves to the bodice. And so the sleeve is right side out and the bodice is inside out. So essentially when you put the sleeve like this into the bodice they're going to be right sides together and so you're going to match up that snipped point you did on the corner of the sleeve to the shoulder seam and now you're going to match up the basically armpit seam to the side seam of the bodice here and you sew in the round of that sleeve super simple just make sure your um, raw edges are matching up you will have to maneuver it just a little bit to make it work for the arm side there As always, tuck your tails. And then I'm just going to repeat the same thing. This is what it looks like popped out. And then repeat the same thing with the other side here. So that snipped point, we're going to add into our arm side there. And then match up the point. Then match up the other seam points. And then sew in the round. Okay, now here's the fun part. We're gonna flip the bottom part here, right side out, and then we're gonna make the top bodice piece inside out, and our skirt is also gonna be right side out. So lay all your pieces out like that. So we got the bottom right side out. We're gonna flip our top inside out, or wrong side out, however you wanna say it. Okay, and then make sure your skirt is right side out and you're gonna match the wrong side of the skirt to the right side of the bottoms here. And so you're just gonna pin, matching up your four points here really quick. And 
and then now we're going to match up make sure you pay attention to the front and the back of your bodice and the front and the back of your leotard here so make sure you match up the front with the front so the higher scoop is the front so i'm going to make sure i put that point down just like i did the skirt here and then i'm just going to add it into this clipped piece here with the skirt so i've got the bottom right side up skirt wrong side down and now the bodice right side down and then I'm just going to stuff the skirt and the bottoms inside of this bodice like this and then go around and match up my points. So then this is what it looks like when you get it all pinned. Now you're just gonna sew in the round here, making sure that you have all three raw edges lined up and that you don't have any folds in your skirt fabric um, because it will show when you flip this out. So just be very careful and cautious as you go around in this round. <laughs> and that's as easy as it is. Tuck your tails, flip this thing out, and let's see it completed. So here it is. Here's the skirted leotard using our bummy skirt add-on that's available on our blog and we also used again the, the petite stitcheries Juliet leotard it's super cute super frilly this is the 12 month size and I just I love how this turned out I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you leave suggestions in the comments we'll see you guys next Tuesday bye